hello good morning all welcome to biology class so we are discussing the chapter help or why do we fall ill so before starting about the disease we discuss the health now we got an idea what is health a good health means a complete well being of physical mental and social aspects of a life okay then we can discuss what is a disease the term disease means dis a discomfort or a disturbed ease easiness what is the easiness from the assembly and others we are getting the command standard ease okay standard ease that means we want to relax so disease means a type of disturbed ease is a type of discomfort to our easiness okay that is the term called a disease okay something is disturbing our easiness or something is uh, a special kind of feeling to our body discomfortable feeling to our body this is what is called a disease <coughs> so a disease free individual means a state of it's a state of absence of any discomfort or any other kind of malfunctioning of body then what does a disease look like can you say so if we feel any any kind of discomfortable in our body it will be manifest itself in the form of some symptoms and signs so what is the difference between the symptoms and signs symptoms are the general visible changes of a body general visible changes of a body and the symptoms may be common for a number of diseases okay headache the common increase or decrease in the temperature increase or decrease in the pressure jaundice etc all these are the, uh, the jaundice malaria etc all these are the symptoms then on the basis of the symptoms the doctors do the following they look for the signs of a particular disease uh, otherwise they get a laboratory test done on the patients to further confirm the disease okay so on the basis of the symptoms the doctors may recommend for specific tests to identify the correct cause of the disease these are the signs okay then the signs of a disease these are the specific indications of a particular disease whereas symptoms are the general visible changes for a number of diseases signs are the specific indications of a particular disease okay on the basis of the signs the doctors recommend for specific treatments and other kind of medical medical investigations And then on the basis of the duration of disease the diseases are usually or mainly classified into two they are the acute diseases and chronic diseases acute diseases means the diseases last for only a short period of time whereas the chronic diseases last for a long time sometimes as much as a lifetime so based on this duration we can classify the diseases into these two groups one is acute or short term disease the other one is the chronic or long term disease in case of acute disease the acute disease do not cause long term bad effects or side effects to the human health example cold cough typhoid cholera etc all these are the examples for acute diseases whereas the chronic diseases cause a drastic long term effects on the human health because uh, the person need to consume the medicine for a long duration of time which will influence the inter- bad effect of the internal organs or important internal vital organs in case of acute diseases there is no such kind of side effects to the internal organs because it is only for a lo- short duration of time examples for this uh, chronic diseases are some cardiovascular heart symptoms of heart diseases tuberculosis diabetes cancer etc all these are the chronic diseases again the diseases are classified into three categories based on the 
कोस बेस्ड ऑन द कोस और मीन्स ऑफ स्प्रेड इफ द डिजीज इज बाई ए माइक्रो और ए माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम देन इट इज श्योरली वन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज इफ इट इज नोट बाई ए माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम इट इज ए नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज दैट वी स्टडी फ्रॉम द एथ स्टैंडर्ड कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज और इनफेक्शियस डिजीज that is by the um, by the attack of a microorganism the second category that is a non communicable disease or non infectious disease it's known by the microbial action the infectious disease is usually spread from an infected person to other person in very ways through air water food physical contact sexual contact and also by the um, insect by the help of insects and this uh, carriers or the pathogens pathogens are the disease causing microbes the pathogens may be virus bacteria fungus protozoan etc and also different kinds of worms worms are also in the creating or causing a number of diseases whereas the non infectious diseases this may uh, there is no chance to spread from an infected person to a healthy person okay which may be generally because of the malfunctioning of some of the important body organs heart disease and uh, night blindness beriberi etc because of the uh, inadequate diet or deficiency of nutrients okay deficiency diseases that we studied all these are the non infectious diseases hypo because of the increase or decrease in the production of hormones diabetes then goiter etc all these are the like, diseases non infectious diseases okay cancer etc cancer is also one of the non infectious disease then one more category of disease is said that is because of the genetic dis disorders because of the genetic ab abnormalities it may happen these are usually known as a congenital diseases because of the anatomical or physiological abnormalities present since birth this may due to the gene or chromosomal abnormalities hemophilia is one of the example color blindness another example sickle cell anemia etc okay in some cases environmental factors can also influence this kind of congenital diseases okay the remaining part we will discuss in the next class